Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor prophecy. prophecy. Are you ready for the word? Yes. Before I start preaching, those who were here last night, oh Jesus, mighty move. Oh, yeah. And God filled me with anointing that was almost killing me last night. The fire was in this altar. We were all slain, all of us on the floor, shouting and screaming and yelling in the manifestation of the power of God. I was in last night's service. We were not too many, but the move of God Amen. was mighty. Amen. <clears throat> I want to say this. You need to write this down, and I want it to be documented on the camera. So for those who want to hear the last year prophecy, go to the YouTube. I give a prophetic word here about American elections and exactly what I spoke. I talked about the earthquake that happened in Alaska, and uh, and uh, this there is this other state in uh, next to next to Texas, Oklahoma. Not okay, yeah, Oklahoma. But we said we will pray. It will be seven. Point, it was seven point two magnitude. That is the same the, the one which was in Haiti. But we prayed to God to stop the devastation. So where am I saying this? I don't give this word for myself. I'm a servant of God. So I want it to be documented so that when it comes to pass, they say the man of God spoke. Amen? Amen. Now, prophecy number one. And I said, I have two critical messages for this nation. United States of America is our nation. We love it. This is our next home. But there are things that are going to happen this year. And the prophets are not peace of God. The Bible says in the book of Amos 4, 6, 7, there is nothing sure the sovereign Lord does without revealing his plans to his prophets. Before God does things, he reveals things to his prophets. He speaks to the servants. Number one, there is going to be a great shift, in, great shift in political and economic arena. America is going to experience middle devastating crisis in the middle of the year. Crisis both in the government and in the two houses of authority, Senate and Congress. There is going to be crisis that have never been witnessed in American history. And there is going to be a change of guard. There is going to be a change of the leadership. Elena. Number two, America is going to lose the superpower status in the global international arena. And the rival nation, a rival nation is going to take and occupy the position of America, that is Russia. Russia is going to be the superpower. Why? Pride. America has exalted itself. We have refused to humble. We have refused to humble before God. You know when the Israel disobeyed God, what did he do? He subjected them mm -hmm. to, them to them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Russia is gonna be the peace, is gonna be the spokesperson of the world. Number three, great and urgent warning to the church of Jesus Christ. You, not the religious church. That God is telling us to refrain from double standard. If you are born again, you are born again, live for God. If you are not born again, live not born again. Don't mix things of God and things of the world. Consecrate yourself. God is so much annoyed with the church. Because of double standard. The trend we have gotten accustomed to. Making God just is just like a man like us. God says, flame, turn back. Amen? Amen? And if we don't do that, severe consequences will be for the church. Severe consequences. Why? Right? The church is allowing gazing 
homosexuality and abortion. God says, refrain from the worldly lifestyle. Number four, a very influential and acclaimed personality leader, internationally, globally known and feared, curtains are going to fall in Europe. I don't want to say the name. Repeat. I don't want to say the name. Somebody very influential, acclaimed personality, leader of the world. No. Gonna. That's not me. I was given that said God. Why do you give me such a message like this? Number five. This is good for the church. This is a consolation. God is saying he's going to release financial and material possession that has been held captive by the enemy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Let me tell you what I'm trying to speak. God says he's going to release great out empowering financial miracle, but only for those who are grounded and rooted in it. And those who are faithful. Not everybody witnessed that. Only a few. Number six. This is also another critical for Christians. Christians, believers, position yourself in positions of both spiritual and the secular authority. That God is going to appoint some of us into secular authority. Why? To change. To bring transformation and to bring the authority of God that people will start to know who God is and start respecting God. That believers are the ones who will be there because we can't be praying when we are outside. God wants us to be in the place of authority. Some of believers will be in very senior positions. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Very senior positions. I will be in control. I will make decisions. Amen. Pertaining to the will of God. Amen. So God is saying, position yourself, both in positions of spiritual and secular authority, because I have opened the door. Hallelujah. Amen. God himself has opened that door. Amen. So if you are appointed, don't say, oh God, this is the devil. It is the will of God. But do not compromise. Amen. Amen. That is the prophecy for 2017. I can't add, I can't reduce. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Let God fulfill Amen. what He has spoken. We will see it come to pass. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this is my Bible, sister.